What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we make a saw tree to store some chainsaws. If you're interested and you'd like to see how I did it, stay tuned. Alright guys, let's get down to the real reason why we're here. So, uh, Getting the log home was quite the process. Um, I don't know exactly how much this log weighs, but it's heavy. Uh, I initially uh, just moving it around on the trail and trying to get it up onto the trailer uh, was a pain in the butt. So some of, some of it was basically trying to use all my might and the cant hook to get it to spin around, but eventually I got it onto the trailer and got it strapped in so that it literally did not roll anywhere or you know mess up my trailer so getting a log like this home uh, is is a pain in the butt now I initially uh, had it you know laying down um, so when we got it to the garage um, I had to basically can't hook it up onto uh, you know uh, basically I used a spud bar and a piece of angle iron across it and then uh, me and Jenny were able to pump up the floor jacks and get it to a spot where we were able to pick it up and get it up into place. Now, uh, this has a little bit uh, to be desired on the straightness of the cut. Uh, it was kind of, it was one of those things I tried to cut it as, as, uh, a, as straight as I could. Uh, you'll want to cut yours pretty darn straight. If you've got a saw, I didn't have a 25 inch bar with me in the woods that day. so. And I got an 18 from one side and, and then went over to the other side and got another 18. So, um, you know, the, the cut could be better. It moves a little bit. I will eventually wedge it when I put it into place. So initial storage for my saws was up here on this shelf above me. I don't know if you can see, but I basically had all my saws um, sticking out over the edge. Um, and that's how I was storing them. So now I'm going to make a power saw tree and we're going to bore down into this log uh, and hang the saws out here in a cool way. Um, hopefully it'll turn out great. Buck and Billy Ray, uh, this one is definitely inspired by you, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, my buddy Josh, my uh, buddy that works at the power equipment shop, he's a still dealer, and he said he used to uh, use logs like this and to display chainsaws said make sure you let it dry out make sure it's a seasoned piece of wood obviously this is a fresh log I'm gonna have to let this dry out because the humidity and it being in that close quarters around your bar will rust it in a second so uh, this is going to be basically for the video and then my stalls are gonna have to come out and I'm going to have to uh, wait for it to season out and dry out before I eventually store these all in one spot I'll free up this shelf for a bunch of stuff that I have uh, whether it's gas and oil or my, uh, my logging crate, uh, you know, all those little things will go on, on the shelf and my saws will be in the tree. So let's stop jabbering. I'm going to try to, well, I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to bore some, bore some, uh, spots in here. Uh, initially we're going to make it for five saws. I might make it for six just for an upgrade. Maybe I want that new 462 or that 500i when it comes out. So I want to have space for some extra saws. Maybe I'll cut six, uh, who knows, but let's get it fired up. I was thinking about taking the top handled saws and boring them down in the top so they, they stick out of the top, but I think that I would rather have my combi can here on top. So I'll put my gas can up top. It'd be a cool little thing. Eventually the saws won't be stored in the garage. I'll have more, uh, I'll have a different location for a little saw shed or something like that. So, you know, in the future, I'm rambling again. All right, let's get down to it. Uh, let's bore some holes.
<laughs> All right, guys. So um, it's a little interesting. Uh, if you got a custom ground, full full house chain, uh, the saw really wants to buck you uh, right initially in the cut. So uh, keep that in mind. Be very safe about it. Uh, obviously, you don't want to get right overhead. Stay behind the saw. Jeez. Uh, the Pico Minis, the low kickback Pico Minis on the Arbor Assaults just went woo right in. And uh, pretty cool. I uh, outfitted it for a couple different uh, a couple different spots. Um, I put a big one here at the bottom. Hopefully the 25 inch 25 inch did not come out on the other side. So um, I might need to get a longer bar one day and uh, bore that out. Hopefully with a bigger saw, have it, uh, a 28 inch. We'll go through it all the way. But and this is about a 28 inch log here in its fattest part. So. I made a couple different spots um, just for uh, d uh, future uses. Probably going to bore one more right here or maybe in at an angle. Um, just be careful not to hit your other bars when they're in there. Um, eventually, after I got a couple different holes cut, I put in the saws so I could see exactly where they were and uh, a piece of cake. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Um, might have some more firewood content going on. Um, I feel like this is the uh, still Timber Sports uh, arena here in the garage. So I've got a mess to clean up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm thinking that I might do a couple more holes for future expansion here, but uh, it should be a pretty awesome uh, piece to have in the garage. So we'll see you guys in the next one.